Hello, and welcome back to the Tim Tom podcast. I'm Tim, joined here by Tom, as ever, and um, today we're going to be talking about the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards, which has been announced like, now, and uh, they're going to happen in January next year, which is, I mean, it's only, this is just over a month and a bit, it's like two months. It's a bit weird, they're announcing them way too early, I feel. Like, what if something was to come out near the end of this year? We've got to buy our out. Well, we'll get to that because 21 Savage's album came out last year and that's all. What if Whole Little Red came out this year? Then it can't win album of the year. It'll win it next year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just, just <laughs> want to know a boy Cardi isn't getting it. Or they'd, or they'd uh, announce all the nominees. And then you yeah. Whole Red! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so I've never really been one for the Grammys in general. Um, it's I'm pretty sure they're a bit of a meme. I don't think anyone takes them that seriously. It is, uh, it is literally just... It's, it's, a, I don't know, it's a bit of a popularity contest. I think it's a bit more... I mean, the Oscars aren't good either, but like I think the Grammys are worse than the Oscars for like being really cliquey, not letting everyone get a fair chance of winning, you know? Grammys but, are um, notorious for being out of touch after Cardi B winning the best hip-hop album last year. I think oh, I thought that was a meme. I didn't know that was serious. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, so, let's have a look at record of the year. We got, we got some... I mean, we know all of these pretty much. The only one I don't know is hard place and talk but uh we've got Heymar which is like the biggest hit off of uh II Bad Guy by Billie Eilish which is a uh, I don't know if you've heard of Billie Eilish she's a she's an up-and-coming uh pop musician um got a few nominations this year yeah got a few got a few don't think she's gonna win any of them though because she's shit no <laughs> no um she stands a good chance of winning uh also Bad Guy is was if there's a record of the year, I'd say Bad Guy has a big chance of being it. It's that is just literally the... this category. Yeah. No, I know, but like it's <laughs> just dominated the radio this year. Seven Rings is another strong contender, but uh, I don't think it 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 has the staying. It's had the staying power of Bad Guy and Old Town hey, Road. We stand Ariana around these parts. We do stand Ariana, but I mean, uh, you know what I mean, right? We've got Truth Hurts by Lizzo, um, which, again, it became a bit of a meme, it was used loads, um, but I don't know, I don't, I don't think, I think she's, she's, down, she's, gonna, she's definitely going to win uh, where she's nominated for an urban contemporary, which uh, we just googled before the podcast and found out it's a, it's a made-up genre. Um, and then, like yeah, then Sunflower, Post Malone and Swaley. But I don't no, think so. anyone did the meme record better than... The old town road. No, no, no one did meme record better this than song, that. And this song was, and the no, the longest number one song of all time mm. in America. Hmm. It is. Wait, wasn't it beat by Panini though? No, it's not. It's not running anymore. But it was. It wasn't yeah. by Panini. I think it was by Bad Guy actually. Oh shit! Okay. I mean, that makes sense. I, I reckon uh, I reckon Bad Guy's got it though, man. I'm telling you. I think it probably does. Yeah. But I personally would like to see either Lil Nas X or Ariana win it. But I'd be happy if Billie Eilish won it as well. Yeah. Those yeah. Would be I'd be happy if all of them won it, really. The, um... Yeah. I don't think Bonnie Bear, like, I, I don't think Heymar's he was in with a chance. I think it's just been I'm like honestly shocked it's here. Yeah. Um, it's a good song, but it's just it is a good crazy. song. It is a good song. I think it's it's better like Bonnie Bear's better suited to like album of the year because uh, I just feel like his at least I I is like more of a I think you listen to all the songs in one go rather than just mm. a single. Um, so I think it it, it stands a chance it's an album of the year. Same as a uh, Norman fucking Rockwell. Um, yeah, just quickly on the um, your thing about it being all 
a big popularity contest. How her manages to get nominated for these things every year is beyond me. Who is her? I've never listened I mean, to them. She's a decent singer, but she like she shouldn't be up to these things. Like she, in the R and B category, fair enough. Mm. Well, she's up for record of the year and album of the year. It's beyond me. I didn't even know she dropped an album this year. Is she? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I, <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, are, are you annoyed that? Oh well, yeah. Um, our boy, our boy Daniel Caesar is not, isn't up for R and B album, which is a complete and utter like travesty. It is really. um, but okay, what do, what do you think is going to happen to you? We got I I Norman fucking Rockwell. When we all fall asleep. Thank you. Next, I used to know her. Uh, Seven, which isn't an album, it's an EP. If my memory serves me correctly, um, because I love you, and then Father the Bride. Now, I am going to put my money, I'm going to hedge my bets, I'm going to put, I think, um, Father the Bride stands a very good chance. No. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's a shoe-in for either Billy or Lana. What do you mean? It's definitely going to be one of those two. I really don't. I don't think Billy Eilish. I think when we fall asleep, where do we go? She deserves to win it. I don't think it's that good. Yeah, but this isn't who deserves to win it, is it? It's who the Grammy. But Father Bride is <laughs> general. Thank you. Next is a better album. No, I love again. We love the... Ariana to win it. I I. Okay, no. Let's. I'll put my money on. Thank you. Next. If Seven wins it though. For the meme, man, Rogue epic. Choice 7, an EP wins album of the year. <laughs> I, I would love that. I would love that so much. Um, it's not very good. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and there's the same song twice. It's more like six, not rather than seven. Um, song of the year, bad guy, again. Um, here. Norman fucking Rockwell. Truth Hurts, again. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, normal fucking rock isn't even the best song on the album. No, no, I'd I don't rather... think it was a single. It's no, weird. it's a weird thing. It should have been Mariner's Apartment Complex. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, that's a much better one. Best new artist, uh, I read... here as well. Who do you think is gonna win? Bad guy again? Yeah, bad guy's gonna win song of the year. If it doesn't win record of the year, it's gonna win song of the year. If it wins both, is that just. So that's that it's pointless having both categories. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> um, best new artist. We've got uh, Black Pumas, who I've never heard of. Billy Eilish, who I've never heard of. Lil Nas X, who I've never heard of. Lizzo, what? who I've never heard of. Maggie Rogers, who I've never heard of. Rosalia, who I've never heard of. What Tank in the Bank, Freedom of the Day, and Yola. Yoda. I think Yoda's going to win it. Baby Yoda. Yeah, Baby Yoda's going to win Best New Artist. <laughs> Uh, again, it's probably going to be Billie Eilish. Yeah. All on that could be. I I reckon I reckon if they give record and song of the year because they're the same thing to Billie Eilish, then Lil Nas X is going to win Best New Artist. I like that um, Lil Nas X was up for record of the year, but not song of the year because maybe the song wasn't the best. But as a record, it's the best. Yeah, I I, I want I want Old Town Road on vinyl. Then it's that the best. Be that would be a beautiful thing. That would be a beautiful thing, wouldn't it? Wait, what's the difference between a record and a song? I think um, maybe it's the the overall impact rather than just the quality of the song. Uh, I don't really know. I think that's what they're doing here. Yeah. Uh, Rosalie is uh, nice, but she's not new. She's been making music for a while. Yeah. I think, I think the same with Lizzo. Yeah. But hey ho. Mm. There is um some interesting stuff going on in some of the other um categories. We can't really talk about rock because <laughs> we haven't listened to any of the things. Uh which it's just made me realise how out of touch I am with rock. <laughs> uh right now. 
But Bro, best you're just gonna are you just gonna skip over the fact that Ed Sheeran's <laughs> number six collaborations project is up for best pop album vocal album? Wait, what? Where? Wait, how, where's rock? How have you, you skipped all the pop and all the dance ones? I mean, not that we're gonna talk about dance ones. I mean, there's not there's not much to talk about for pop now, like. Best pop duo. Uh, I, I reckon not, right. got that. you've got to give it to that. Uh, uh, if you get to going to kill someone. Um, or Sunflower God. Or the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, wait, no. Best vocal element. That one got to be Ariana Grande. Surely. If she's going to win one, this will be the one. If it goes to Ed Sheeran or Taylor Swift, that'll be quite sad. Yeah. No, if it goes to Ed Sheeran, I'll be pissed, man. Like, <laughs> it's... Yeah. That's no, the Ariana... Best sellout album ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, and the vocals aren't even good. After they're terrible, I don't think Ed Sheeran has a good voice. Particularly. Especially not not on, like, the big single on that one about the party or whatever. Like, yeah. it just wasn't good. Maybe want to turn it off whenever I heard it. I actually, uh, I broke, I broke That's the first reaction. Yeah. reaction. In the this, in this shop, I, I got up, picked up the radio, and <laughs> threw it on the floor. <laughs> and also, uh, an album that literally just came out, uh, John Legend's A Legendary Christmas. Is also Christmas <laughs> album <laughs> for best traditional pop vocal album. No, 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 no. Harmony Hall. I want to win best rock song because it's from the album Father of the Bride. I think it deserves something because it is a genuinely good album. I went into it with no expectations. Oh, I, I just went into it out of pure curiosity. I started listening to it, and um, it's pretty damn great, man. It's pretty cool. It has these, these lovely, uh, almost like folky indie. It's it's nice. Alternative album. Um, we have Assume Form by James Blake, I I by Bonnie Iver, Father of the Bride by Vampire Weekend. They they all and then Anima by Tom York. I don't know what UFOF and who Big Steve are, but those four are two are two. <laughs> those four are four very strong albums, all of which mm-hmm. are deserving of it. I don't know about so, Thom- I don't know about Thom York though. I haven't listened to Oh that. my god. Why'd you do that? What? <laughs> um No, I think uh, they're, they're all good, like Assume Form has some great, great tracks with some great collaborations. I I should have... win. I'm so torn. It's between Assume Form and Anima. I, I reckon Assume Form deserves it more anima has one of the has one of my favorite songs of 2019 on it and i think one of my favorite electronic music songs you know well like uh like uh it has one of my favorite songs of the year on it dawn chorus and i think it's gonna be one of my favorite songs ever um because that song is just amazing i love it but uh i think tom york's up for a fair few categories and if he doesn't win this, definitely gonna win at least the um, the category for visual media or music for visual media because uh, they just used the, the anime album as a soundtrack to the short film by Paul Thomas Anderson. That is definitely if that if that is actually just stupid, and they are dumb because it's a great, great, great short film. All interpretive dance, directed by one of the best directors out there, with the soundtrack by one of the best musicians out there. It's like a uh, uh, collab of the century, and it's uh. Oh, wait, that has just hit me that if I I is up for the best album of the year, and none of the other ones are, surely they think it's better than all these albums. So it's probably. Yeah, why would they put it? If why why put it in multiple categories? I don't I don't get that. Like it just seems like a bit of a bit dumb. All right, we got love again. Put him up for best record of the year and best alternative, and he doesn't win either. That's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, like I think James Blake's album's better. Me too. Me too. Daniel Caesar's up for best R and B performance, which is fair enough. Somehow, and another Lizzo, another Lizzo one. And we got Gucci Mane on it as well. 
he, he, put it on his, um, he put it on his Instagram saying, I'm Grammy nominated. It's like, you're not really, are you? <laughs> you're a feature to a Grammy nominated person. I mean, if if this song, if it does win, which I hope it doesn't, if it does, Gucci will get a Grammy. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's... But, um, there's I still think like... Come Home should win. Um, Failing that yeah. love again. Out of all the songs, out of all the songs there, Come Home. But Daniel Caesar's performance deserves like recognition not that so i guess you, so the ideal scenario would be love again winning and then ventura winning the album yeah yeah speaking of the albums wait, there it is yeah yeah we got ventura which is it's just the best one of all of them on there best of urban contemporary album as well um i reckon lizzo has got that if she doesn't win the others steve lacy like <laughs> Why was he even thrown in there? Uh, we talked about it yesterday. I mean, I'd like to see Steve Lacey win it, but... Not for I'm, that. Just because I like Steve Lacey. Better. Uh, best rap song performance. We got... Just quickly, I think uh, the best R&B song is a terrible list. And um, um, the fact that Chris mm. Brown's probably going to win is sad. Mm. We got Nipsey Hussle. Uh, nominated under best rap song performance on higher, which uh, I mean, I haven't listened to it. I don't know if we did uh, when we did his album, the the Khaled out DJ Khaled album, but um, yeah, I'd, I don't know who would win more Panini, like Lil Nas X for Panini or Young Thug for the London. Like, well, you figure if um, Lil Nas X doesn't win either of the records of the year, he'll probably win. This one. Yeah, but we we, we want to see Thugger get. <coughs> We're riding Thug, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, best rap album is uh, a cop out. What is this list? It's <laughs> really bad. It's a really bad list. I mean, uh, the Revenge of the Dreamers three was a much better idea than it was an actual execution. Uh, the Meat Mill album came out last year and wasn't very good. Twenty One Savage, Mean Connor review. I... <laughs> It should it should win based on all others except the next one, which I mean, Igor is comfortably the best. But how it was yeah. up for record of the year? It really it's should have been. Earthquake should have been up for record of the year because that's been Earth. Uh, you know, Earthquake deserves it. Or um, for that, like you know, at least best album or like because. Yeah, best it's, it is a great rap album, but like it's more than that. It's a, uh, it's you know, it's a, uh, is it seminal? Like the best work of an artist? It's it's uh, it is comfortably Tyler's top yeah. among his best work, if not his best album. Um, I just thought the best rap performance was another terrible list, and I generally don't know which one I'd pick because I don't really like any of these songs that much. Where are they? Um, it's the first one. Middle Child's yeah. boring. Sudge is okay. Damn Bad is pretty good. That's probably the one I'd want to win, to be fair. Mm. Just because J.I.D. goes so goddamn hard on their song. Um, blah, yeah, not a good year for the hip-hop category, I'm not going to lie. No, not at all. But better than last does that year, make yes. you wonder that? Does that make you wonder that maybe hip-hop's not actually been that good this year? Um, I don't think it has. I mean, well, there, there there have been some pretty great projects out there, but it's not like we haven't seen anything from Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Um, you know, they 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 haven't really been. But then again, wait, some rap songs did that come out last year or this year? It came out last year. Last year. Yeah. Yeah, there hasn't really been that much. The only albums that stand out to me were. Ego and like, is he real? The two which come to mind big time. Keep on coming back to those. There have been. No, wait, what the hell? Why is a bandana on this? Ah, uh, there we go. That go that is a snob. That is a snob and a half. Do the do the Grammy people even know who Freddie Gibbs is though? Grammy people do cocaine. Of course, they know who Freddie Gibbs is. No, um, that's so dumb. That is, that is a big snob, man. That actually makes me angry. Do you know makes me even more angry? Uh, Jesus is King is not the best gospel album. 
not even nominated. That's just so no. Weird. Yeah. Uh, but... I think Rosalia should win the best Latin slash urban slash alternative album because all the other ones are bad. Oh, that's a good one. wait. No, that's a good point. Thinking about it, like, do the guy people even know who Freddie Gibbs is? Like, I don't think they do. Is he is he that big? He's big. In, he's big in the genre. Yeah, but it's it's weird if you if like it's got Mad Lib and Gibbs on it. Like, you know, it's stupid that it hasn't even been nominated. <sighs> We've had YBN Core Day, you know, like, what the heck. Uh, Rapture, Coffee. Uh, I swear Coffee has the uh, remix of the. Um... No, 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 no. She, was, just... she was on the Daniel Caesar remix. Yeah, yeah, just feature on it instead. She'd done a few um, uh, songs with Run the Jewels, and I thought that. I think this is the only one I've actually listened to of the lot, so. Yeah. I'll ride for that. Yeah, best children's album. Um, Got a few favourites in this category. Flying High by Casper Baby Pants. Could you imagine winning a Grammy for making a child album? Um, I think it's worth nothing. If you're uh, in the Alphabet Rockers <laughs> or the Okie Dokie Brothers. Oh, man, I do not know. All right, best compilation soundtrack for visual media. Uh, the Lion King can frick off. Like, stop it. It already Shit, came Michelle out. Ob- it, Hold on. Technically, Michelle technically, Obama. just a bunch of covers. Michelle Obama is Grammy nominated for the Spoken Word album. What the fuck? What? <laughs> is, that what? The, is that the Michelle Obama? We got Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, Rocket Man. Taran Ed- by... Yeah, Ed- I think he actually did sing all the songs. Um... But again, it's just a bunch of covers, it's not like original music. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has some pretty great tracks in it. Uh, I've heard some of them. Like, they do some really interesting stuff with the um, the theme for, like, the big, the, the end in it. They do some cool stuff with the, their theme. Uh, Star is Born, I reckon that's going to win it, honestly, because there's such a big ruckus about it. Um, best score soundtrack for visual media. Uh... I want once upon a time to win it. Uh, it's not on it. It's not up for that. Oh no, I meant for the, the other one we just said. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really remember much of the music from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I just, liked it. I just would have fitted it perfectly. Yeah, it would have. But, um, hmm, interesting. Best song written for visual media: The Ballad of the Lines and Cowboy. Uh, is pretty good. Um. Suspirium, though, is what I want to win. From Suspiria by Tom York. No, come um, on, Beyonce. But Suspirium is a great track, and it's from a great remake of the classic Jalo Suspiria. It's a, it's a great track. Yeah, but What's Beyonce... What's to hear Tom York doing like, soundtracks for films? Yeah, but uh, Beyonce... I don't think it's going to win. I want it to win, but I don't think it's going to win. I think uh, Spirit. Uh, Beyonce is gonna win. Uh, best oh, package. Oh. Best package. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tom York. Well. <laughs> isn't Tom York's up for this one? Uh, no. Well, I no, is up for best he's recording up. package. Oh, special he's... limited package. Boom. Oh my god! For this the special a... edition of Anima, best album notes. As well. This is the, if I could win any Grammy, I'd love to win best album notes. What even is album notes? <laughs> I don't know. Is that like oh, okay. they, is that like where they write the all the credits on it? I feel like they're just the these these categories are just getting weirder and weirder as it goes uh, on. Best production, non classical. Those there's a couple <laughs> interesting. Wait, there's there's one. one... Billy Eilish is up for yet another one here. Nah, <laughs> I don't understand. Best engineered <sighs> album, non-classical. How is that any different to best album? Wait, hold up. We got we got um. But best producer, non-classical. I think is quite an interesting one. There, Jack Antonoff. 
should win because, and then it lists some of the albums he worked on before. The Arizona Baby, Lover, Norman Rockwell, and uh, the FK Twigs album as well. Mm. Either that or um, probably Phineas, who did all the production for Billy Eilish. Yeah. So what what about, um, yeah, so just looking at the uh, video for one category, best music video, we have both uh, Cellophane by FK Twigs and Old Town Road on it. Um, I want Cellophane to win it. Yeah. I think, I think I they're both. I haven't got there yet. Hold on. Well, it's all opera and contemporary classical composition. I don't think we're, we're very oh, well no, versed in that. I was just skipping that. through that. I was still looking at the producer. Okay. <laughs> there were um, so many classical Best ones. music film. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's so Cellophane many. Cellophane yeah. or the Old Town Road video. Mm. And best music film? It has to be Anima. Paul Thomas Anderson directed it. Music by Tom York. It is a great, and great Beyonce's going to win it. I, oh my god, man. Oh, no, 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 no. If Anima doesn't win it, it's actually, it's actually tragic. He's going to nah. win zero Grammys. No! He's at least got to get the Grammy for best limited edition package. <laughs> No, there's better, there's better packages. They've got to give him one. How many nominations are you getting? Is that about six? That's pretty good. I think, I think it's four. It's four. Yeah. Um, I think Beyonce didn't release an official album. The fact that Billie Eilish like, and Lil Nas X both have three. six nominations. Ariana Grande's got five. Lizzo's got eight. Tom York's got eight. That's outrageous. Four. Beyonce's got four. Uh, Bonnie Bear's got three. Billy Ray Cyrus has three because of um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, Ezra Koenig has three. Bonnie Bear having three, you love to see it. Oh, yeah, we love to see it. That baby's got two. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, the, the crying shame, Tyler Crater having a measly one. Yeah, that is a crazy shit. Why, why is an earthquake earthquake up for um, best music video? I don't know, but do you know what's outrageous? What? The fact that Tyler Creator has the same amount of nominations as the Okie Dokie Gang. <laughs> <laughs> Grammys, sort this out. Stop being so annoying. This is why people don't like you. You know? I believe Casper Baby Pants has the same amount of nominations as Tyler Creator. Michelle is Obama. Michelle Obama has the same amount of nominations <laughs> as Tyler Imagine Creator. Imagine Michelle Obama gets the Grammy. <laughs> Will she even be there? I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's more important things to do. Like, <laughs> they, they just give Michelle Obama the Grammy. Like, she was first lady of the United States. I don't think she cares. <laughs> You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you reckon she met Kendrick Lamar as well? If Kenny met Obama? Or Barack Obama? Oh. Okay. Um, with that being th- food, food for thought, food for thought, I have been Tim. I've been Tom. And uh, don't watch the movies. It's terrible. Don't, Just don't look at who won on Twitter. Yeah, just, just just go on Instagram, look at the memes after. That's all. That's all I do. That's all I find out who did well. Okay. Uh see ya.